John with Charles here on day four of our trip for the Round Top Antique Show. If you missed an episode, links to all of them are in the description below. Also, if you like videos like this, make sure to hit like and subscribe so we can keep making videos. All the places we visited today are also in the description. The first place we hit today was Cole's Antique Show. With over 60,000 air conditioned square feet, it's so large the place has its own helpful math of vendor booths, plus an entire annex building with even more vendors. And these vendors are selling everything from furniture to vinyl records to jewelry to vintage figurines, old toys, vintage brand signage, so much more, especially crystal cut glass and surprisingly a huge amount of both hanging and stand lighting. There's so much to see that we spent over three hours here and we still didn't see everything. As you can see, there's pottery, there's restored furniture, so many items here, so many vendor booths. If you're into Hummel figurines, they had a huge selection of that. If you're into salt cellars, they had that even. Yes, I actually spent time with this lady. Her name is Elizabeth Maxwell with Maxwell Silver Matching Service. She was an extremely nice lady. She helped me actually price some pieces I was interested in. And here's some glass bottles that if you're into that, they had a lot of really old glass there. Here's those vintage signs, really good condition. One of the biggest things that we saw there though was this huge crystal and glass collection. Yes, which is sold by Edward Sawicki um, with Memories Antiques. I actually ended up buying uh, two bowls from his half price section. Uh, which was a very large selection that he had. I got uh, two Clark signed crystal bowls from him. So many beautiful crystal pieces here. Some of them very rare, very hard to find, quite expensive, but you can see just how beautiful they are. And they run the gamut from Waterford to uh, American Brilliant and, and everything in between. This, look at that amazing, unique piece there. I have not seen that piece ever before. And then of course, a bunch of your Waterford Lismore collection. Of course, anybody collecting Waterford uh, would, would have Lismore in their collection. And he had an amazing amount of it. And here's a shot of just some of his floor space. His collection is enormous. This booth is Jay's Emporium and she had everything you could think of when it comes to holiday pieces, and I actually bought a Christmas cookbook from her. So much at Kohl's, but then we headed over from there to the Round Top Antique Festival, or what they call the Round Top Antique Festival area. It starts from about where Kohl's is at, and as you can see, it goes all the way down 237 for a good mile, or maybe almost two miles, it just keeps going. And on either side of the street, there's just tents everywhere, and it goes way back uh, with just so many vendors to see and so much to do. We even found a great spot for parking called the Gin at Warrington. And in this particular spot, you can even rent a golf cart. And that's exactly what we did. Now you can see on either side, just all the booths and vendors and stuff that they have out here. And we're gonna go back and see more of this probably tomorrow. Uh, but we wanted to get out here. One reason was because we wanted to see Charles Keaton's booth. And here it is, so much glass, so much silver. There's so much to see here. The next place we visited was down in Fayetteville. We drove down and saw the Vintage Rose Market. Now we didn't pick up anything here, but this was a great local business. So much to see. Antique items, as well as some things that were newer uh, in here. Uh, but her store was, was great and uh, we had fun looking through it. It's always great to support local businesses when you're in town. We then headed over in the same place to the Courthouse Antique Show, which was in the parking lot of the same building. Yes, it was right beside the courthouse. And uh, while I was in there, I found this beautiful little oil painting that I just had to pick up. And here's our haul after day four. Quite a day. First thing you'll see on the table is that beautiful crystal that Mr. Edward Sawicki with Memories Antiques helped us out with. Yes, both of these bowls were in his half off section and he has a very vast collection of pieces in his half off section. 
these pieces are both signed by Clark and I thought they were absolutely beautiful and I just could not pass them up. They are absolutely beautiful. The next thing we picked up was this Christmas cookie book from Jay's Emporium. Yes, I went looking through it and realized it was their 40th anniversary book and the lady just so happened to have the box with it and I had to take it home. And the third thing that we got today was something you've been looking for for quite a while that we managed to pick up from Dale and Pat's Antiques and Collectibles. Yes, I was looking for a, ro a dough roller that did not have rolling handles. It is one solid piece and the lady just so happened to have one. The next thing that we picked up was a walking stick and that we got from Burtonos Antiques. Yes, I was looking through his pieces and I thought this one was a very nice piece. It has a, a stainless steel handle and it just so happened was tall enough for me to be able to use. Now in Fayetteville, we went to yesterday's past and although this shop was not in our video, we really wanted to point these out. Lovely couple, but the one thing that really caught us about their shop was this amazing coffee. Yes, which is this beautiful oil painting. It's small, but it will fit perfectly in our bedroom. So we have quite a number of items we picked up today. To just add to the items that we already have. If you like videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.